Welcome to Survival Theory. I was in Missouri last week doing some backpacking and camping. And my hiking stick broke. Now I'm going to put a link up here to the video where I go over the different uses of this incredible, awesome hiking stick and its many uses. I call it a snake stick, but it's a walking stick or a hiking stick. So it broke. Now I've got to make a new one. But first, why did it break if it's so awesome? Because I leave this in the back of my truck, laying in the yard. I've had it for years and years. And if you don't take care of it, after about, it's probably been about four years, you know, the wood's going to rot. And also, because of this rubber handle, it traps in moisture, so it's getting soft and rotten under the, under the grip. So, it's very hard to find the right material to make these sticks, but I found one, so let's get busy. So here's what I found to replace my hiking stick. This is a green thumb garden hoe. Look at that price. $9.99. 10 bucks. That's incredible. Does not have a rubber grip, which is a bonus. I don't want it to rot out this time. It's got a good solid wood handle. And look at the blade. I can knock that off. It's not seam welded or welded all the way around. It's just tack welded. So I'll knock that off and get started. There we go. Separated. Now I got... It was good that I found one that not only was detachable, it had a rounded head like that. Because I like it rounded. I don't like the big uh, square ends. Although they might be a little stronger, but I like this. So now I'm going to take a grinder and I need to remove these welding spots right there and make sure that the edge is smooth so I don't cut my finger or injure a snake or you know whatever I'm doing I'm using a grinder but you could use a file also anything to get those rough edges off and in theory you could actually leave it like that you know if those edges didn't bother you but I don't want to cut my hands so I've, I've got those welds down to where it's smooth ooh still hot but now I need to get these edges because they're very sharp Yep, that's smooth. I can't cut my hand. Now normally, or in the past, that would be all I did. I now have my walking stick. Mission accomplished. However, this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to get a little fancy. And I'm going to put this button compass in the top. Right, so the smallest button compass I have is three quarters so I got a 13 16 bit that I had to borrow because mine are ruined Let's see if I can get this right in the middle it's gonna be a pain in the butt go that should drop in nicely it'll be recessed all right good to go on that part all right so welcome back why do I say welcome back 
because the last scene that I shot was over a month ago. I've been away for a while. So I've got my stick now. So what I want to do is give it a light sanding because I want to stain this. Now, all my sticks before, I've never stained them. They get dark on their own. But this time I want to start off with dark and I want to take better care of it so that it would not really darken very much on its own anyway. So I'll just give it a light sanding so that it can accept the stain because they do put this protective finish coat on there. All right, so that's sanded enough. Got the gloss coat off, wipe it off on your shirt. Get all that dust off. All right, let's go stain it. Got an old brush. It's not really good for painting anymore, so. off not very dark at all but it's not as bright as it was now if you haven't watched the video where I show the uses of this stick and why it is the ultimate hiking stick go watch that video for sure because I'm not going to get into the uses the practicality and the tacticalness in this video. So normally I would be done now. I've got my stick, I've got the hook on the end. This time I've added a compass, which I did not do before. But wait, there's more. I've decided to make this also kind of a survival stick, not just the ultimate hiking stick. So I'm gonna put a paracord handle, you know, wrap this in paracord about right in here so that I've got my hands on some paracord literally in case I need it there it is but there's more I'll show you all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have combustion container candling I've got three storm matches here I've got a way to light them I've got a coffee filter and I've got some non-stick heavy-duty aluminum foil. I'm going to put them in this plastic bag and have this under the cordage. The coffee filter can be used as tinder. I can pre-filter water and put it in my aluminum container to boil it. Of course, a way to start a fire. I've got this waxed jute twine for candling. Extend the life of my matches you know, whatever I need to do. It can even be used as cordage if I had to. This can also be used for signaling, this reflective aluminum foil. So there's a lot of uses I can get just out of these small items, but it covers the basics in an emergency. Getting a fire going, being able to gather and purify water, and have some kind of extended flame if I need one to get wet wood started, etc. I'm going to put it all in this bag here. I don't want to put any more than that. That's just the basics. I don't want to make it too complicated. I don't want to be able to live out in the woods for two weeks off my hiking stick. I just want to take care of emergencies and get home. There, so I've got everything right there. That's pretty thin. Yeah, that'll work nicely. It's not too thick. You barely even notice it. Almost done here. I 
didn't leave myself much to go through there, did I? So I put a little bit of Gorilla Glue along the perimeter right there to try to keep this from sliding around. I put a little bit here and there, kind of help hold it on there. But now that I've got the Gorilla Glue out, let's complete the objective of inserting this compass. I had to rip apart this gel. Pretty tight fit in there. I'm actually going to put a little bit around the perimeter. Just going to seal it up in there. Now, one of the last things I'm going to do is paint this black. I'm just going to paint it with this brown Rust-Oleum. Nothing fancy. Just kind of want to take away that black. There, that does it. So it's completed, for now anyway. I've got the compass in there. It's pointing north. It's doing well. I've got the kit about right here. And it's a good grip. And that glue on there definitely helped keep this stationary. I put a few dabs here and there and then along the edges on the top and bottom so it wouldn't slide up or down or get loose. Painted that brown just so it wasn't tactical black which really stands out in the woods. So I really need this to be stationary because I may be holding my weight you know suspended from something maybe pulling something so I'm going to throw this around and hang from it and see how well it does. Because remember, normally, I don't have this on there, or the compass. Now, if you haven't seen the video of all the different uses and functions and tacticalness of this, uh, go watch that video. I have links to it throughout the video or in the description below. But it's doing very well. I'm impressed with it. Now I'll fit in with the survival community because, you know, it's got a survival kit built into it. Nothing too complex or fancy. Just enough for an emergency situation. And 
Well, what else is there to say? Watch the other video. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Saw it first here. I slipped.